Hello everyone and welcome to our Boredom Busters today. I'm Carissa and I am one of the children's librarians here at the Provo Library. So, today we will be making a clothespin foosball, foosball table. <laughs> so what you're going to need, you're going to need a shoebox of any kind, any shape. You're going to need some wooden dowels. These are skewers, so you can use wooden dowels or skewers. Or if you don't have any of those, you can even go out to your backyard and try to find some really thin sticks that you can use. You also will need the clothespin, clothespins right here. You're going to need some art supplies, so you can use markers or you can use paint, um, crayons, whatever art supplies you have at home are totally fine. So what you're going to do first, so you're going to start with decorating the inside of your shoebox. So as you can see, I have decorated my shoebox right here um, to look like a soccer ball filled with the grass and then the blue sky. And then I've added on these little nets on either side of my foosball table. If you're feeling really ambitious, you can ask a grown up to help you cut a hole in the box right here. And so then when the foosball is going around, it can go through the holes. That'll be super fun too. So once you've decorated your shoe box, you are also going to take your clothespins. You're going to have eight total, okay? And you're going to take four of them and decorate them with one color, and then four with another color. And those are your teams, those are your soccer players. So you can decorate them with markers, you can put googly eyes on them if you want, make them look like little people, whatever you want. And so once you do that, you're going to take your dowels, I had to tape mine together to make them long enough. You're going to want to make sure they're long enough that you're going to have little handles on the side of your foosball table. So I'll just show you how I taped mine together. So I just took two together, grabbed some tape, and I just taped them together so they'll just stick and make nice little handles for your foosball table. Now you're going to want to make sure you have, you're going to have four total of these, okay? Now, what you're gonna do next is a little bit tricky. You're going to take your shoe box, and you might wanna ask a grown-up for help. You're gonna poke holes in the side along the edge of your shoe box so that your dowels can fit into the holes. So I'll give you a little demonstration. You're gonna to wanna to make sure they're evenly poked. You're gonna poke the holes evenly apart. So you're gonna take something sharp. It can be scissors, it can be um, a pokey edge like this or a hole punch, whatever you have. Then you're just going to poke those holes into your shoe box right there. And I've poked most of them already, but I'll just show you. Just making sure those can go in there. So you have four on this side and four on this side. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your wooden dowels that you've created and you're going to start putting them into those holes. Okay. And then, they're going to look like that as you're sticking them in. So I'll stick in all four of those into those holes that you've poked. There we go. We've got two in there, those nice handles on the edge. And then you're going to take your third one. And they should, be fit, they should fit in smoothly enough that they're not going to fall out, but not too loose. They have to be able to still stay sturdy. Okay, so once you've put all of these in, you're going to add in your clothespins, okay? So you're gonna take all your pink ones, or whatever color you choose, you're gonna stick them like this. And so they're nice and sturdy on the edge right there, so they can kind of flow like that. Okay, you're gonna do that with your other ones as well. You're gonna to wanna to kind of space them out. I'll show you when I'm all done so you can see. You're making your two teams right now, the yellow and pink team. Okay, just make sure they're nice and spaced out. Okay, so this is what it should look like when you are all done with that step. Okay. So now you have your own little personal foosball table, which is super fun. So you can grab someone at home, a sibling or a parent, and you're gonna need some sort of ball. 
So you can either use, I use a ping pong, ball, ping pong ball, or you can use a bouncy ball or a pom pom, whatever you have around the house. And you're just gonna stick it right in. And as you kind of, I don't know if you can see or not, but you just play like this. And then your little foosball table with your friend, you can score different points and it's super fun. So you not only have a craft, but you also have a fun activity you can play with at home with the buddy. So that's our board and buster for the day. Um, just a reminder, we do have story time again on Monday morning at 11 o'clock. And just a reminder, also, we now have our spring reading that is live. So if you want to be a part of our spring reading program, log on to our ProCityLibrary.com and you'll be able to find out more information about that. Thanks. Have a great day.